Everywhere you look, there are bikes, bikes and still more bikes of every make and vintage. While everyone else was enjoying themselves, Joey Dunlop talked to John Brown as he prepared for the all-important F1 race. Well, Joey, you've got uh, 10 TT wins already to your credit. Obviously, the Formula One race over here is very important to you. But does the racing here and winning, is it do still bring the same excitement, the same satisfaction as it did over the years? No, it does indeed, because like, I've been here a long time and I'm not getting any younger and everybody else seems to get quieter. <laughs> When you're going for a race like this Formula One race, which is very important, uh, the, the machine preparation itself, obviously you're doing a bit of work on it, um, is it very crucial? Is there anything special you do for the TT? We're putting a lot more into this one, it, because I've won it now for five times and I really want to try and do it for another time. <laughs> so we're really going through the bait from one end of it to the other. What about, um, you say it still, still gives you the same satisfaction to win here, young riders coming over or new riders, any sort of warning notes to them? What, the, what should they be looking for when they come to race on the Isle of Man mountain circuit? Well, just like, be a safe, reliable like, and treat the place like really cautious. And that's about it. Like, MD comes over here, thinks they're just going to go out and show everybody up that's not going to last. Like, MD comes over here really has to take it easy and take a beating. That's the way I did it at the start. But Dunlop certainly won't be taking it easy in today's six-lapper. He already has five Formula One wins in a row to his credit, and he dearly wants win number six. Out to stop him, Jeff Johnson on the Loctite Yamaha. Is he nervous? Very nervous. I haven't slept much at all last night, really on edge, so I'm hoping that's going to give us the adrenaline to pump us up and get us going today. It's practice has gone very well. Totally confidence in the bike, so I'm looking for a good, good result. Loctite Yamaha running well. Yeah, Loctite Yamaha's been running brilliant all through practice. Never been a problem at all. We've had the engine apart. Looks really good. Things are looking promising, and I'm after that first win. Johnson and Jeffries set off together 10 seconds ahead of favourite Dunlop. Wearing his favoured number nine plate is Roger Burnett, the 1986 senior winner. Roger Burnett, back at the TT. Now you are a TT winner. Is it very dangerous out there? Obviously the TT is dangerous, but um, I think the racing is more uh, safe than the practices, actually. The practice is that we've had a lot of newcomers setting off before the experienced guys, and um, I feel that the uh, races are much more safe. Roger Marshall has won just about everything in his yeah. career, except an Isle of Man TT race. Is this the most important race of the year for you? Well, obviously, uh, getting the sack last year and then uh, winning on the Cosworth at Daytona boosted my ego a lot. And uh, I need to do well here, obviously, to keep myself uh, in statue. Although he topped the Formula One practice leaderboard, Marshall will get no further than Balacrane on the first lap. His bike breaks down. Kirk Michael Village first time around and Dunlop has already nailed his colours to the mast. He's made up 10 seconds to split Johnson and Jeffries on the road. 